This is Fox 26 Morning News at 9 a.m. Connected to you. With hair, with long, beautiful hair. Shining, gleaming, steaming, flax and wax. Give it down to their hair. Shoulder length or longer. Your baby there. I can attest to it. It is one of the most uncomfortable topics to bring up with your man. Hair loss. Honey, you got a little, or maybe back here. No, that's not something that you want to address. So we're going to address it for you. So gentlemen, if you are watching, we are here to help you. And we have Dr. Carlos Puig. Thanks yes, for coming in. We appreciate it. We're at Natural Resources Salon. This is not where the doctor works. He works at Physicians Hair Restoration Center. Physicians Hair Restoration Center, if you want to get a hold of him. <laughs> um, but he is here visiting us with um, Sunil. This is his, one of his clients. And he uses this very interesting device called a hair Max laser comb. We're going to talk about that in just a moment and how it has helped you. But first, doctor, let's talk about, you know, there, there's this theory, I think, by some that when you sweat in the Houston heat, your scalp maybe becomes irritated and that impacts your hair growth or maybe your hair falling out. Is that the case at all? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think so. I think um, uh, humans are have a different kind of hair cycle. Mm -hmm. All of the hair on your head cycles uh, on in a in a, a re on a regular basis. At any given time, uh, 13 to 15 percent of the hair on your scalp is not actively growing. It's dormant, and so that is called the uh, the telogen resting phase of the hair cycle, and that lasts for three to 18 months, depending on the patient, and it occurs once every four or five years. So this is normal. That's right. So now I think that our hair sheds and we gets a little bit thinner during hot weather. There is no question about the fact that those that are in that hair is designed to to provide thermoregulation for the body. So people from temperate climates uh, or cold climates have flat hair that, that layers one on top of the other and holds the heat in. And people whose heritage comes from equatorial climates have curly hair that stays a little puffier so the breezes can blow through and move hair out. That is fascinating. So, so the thermoregulatory function of hair means that, you know, maybe you'll see some shedding when it gets really hot if you're uh, in the wrong okay. climate so to speak. So but, we've answered that question and I think that is just fascinating. So let's move over then to Sunil Tucker and he is a Bollywood expert. You can find him on <laughs> which radio station? On Masala Radio, 1090 AM. Hello de hello. Okay, 1090 AM. Yes. It's from 4, 4 to... 4 to 8 P every day. Today, 4 P to 8 P. Okay, there you go. So in, in addition, he's also an expert, you could say, on hair restoration. He has said it is okay for me to tell you that he had a hair transplant in the front that uh, his doctor here helped him with. And in addition, in addition to that, he, he is used for his recovery as well as uh, regrowing some hair that wasn't impacted, I guess, as, as uh, seriously as the transplants that he had or the area that he needed to cover with this comb. Tell me about this. Yeah, it's a fascinating device. The technology originated, originally developed in Eastern Europe before World War II, 1938-39. So there's a red light coming out of this. That's what right. is that doing? It's a red laser light, a wavelength of about 640 or 6, 650 wavelength. And that wavelength is the distance. If you Sunil pull the hair of the, the device away from your scalp, you see the difference in intensity of the light against it. Don't look at it. And <laughs> see how the intensity gets better? Yes. These tongs are not just to, not to brush the hair per se, but they're to make, keep the distance of the light away from the scalp so that the intensity of the light is the same throughout the entire dose. So people that, I, I've seen this offered, for example, at the salon where I go spray tanning, but you're saying that's a totally different thing. The red light can be used for, for different things. There's only two devices where the wavelengths on, on them have been certified by the FDA to be used for hair regeneration. Right. There's two devices that have received what's called a 510K approval, which is the approval that says that it's a safe device and that it does have efficacy for what it's being used for. There's two laser devices on the market that have attained that, and that can only be attained through placebo controlled double-blind studies, medical studies. In the state of Texas, as a physician, I'm not allowed to use or dispense a device that doesn't have FDA approval. And you say that this works better than Rogaine and it does about the same thing. Yes, Rogaine has a retention rate, stopping loss of about 35% in males. 35% of the men stop loss and about 15% regrow hair. This device is about 60%, 64% 
retention and about 33 to 35 percent regrowth. The difference in this device between the placebo group and the study group was 18 to 24 hairs per centimeter squared at the end of six months of therapy. So, so I have to ask you then, it was what, a little over $500 for you to purchase? Yep, it was. Is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. I, I've been using it for six months now and I can definitely see little hairs growing back again. And you and only the, use it once every other day? Every, every third day. Every, every third day. You just kind of run it. Each time it just beeps, you may it. have been hearing this beeping, it means that he needs to move it to another location. Yep. That's amazing. Well, thank you too. We appreciate you stopping by Natural Resources Salon. So we're doing another segment here a little bit later about things that you can eat, you know, to help your hair keep it keep it strong and long and everything. I know the doctor says come see me and I'll hook you up with a laser comb. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say if you don't have 500 bones to put towards a laser comb, I'm going to tell you what you can eat in your diet and we'll do that coming up in about 15 minutes or so. So Mike, have I satisfied then that need of yours for more information about, you know, getting you getting you some Fabio locks? I am taking notes. Definitely taking notes. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the next segment. Great job.